I've got my section here. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to snip that one off so I can see it better. And I'm going to snip that one off too, so I can see that better. Okay, so I've got them all going down like this. Alrighty. So now, there are a few schools of thought on this. The first one, when dealing with wisteria, is to do this. To cut here, we'll use that for the second option. To then take this piece and to treat it like a clematis. Um, now what we're going to do is wound it on the bottom. So I just want to take my knife and make a line across the bottom. Okay, so now the bottom has been wounded. And then because this is too much foliage and it's just not going to be able to survive like that, I want to cut at least half of it off. Maybe more. You know, let's just, yeah, there we go. So you've got no more than two or three leaves on here. And then you're going to plop the whole thing into the ground and cover it up. <laughs> so take number 257, my dear neighbor who knows that I do this every day, is making a ton of noise. My neighbor's building a house. I think I should schedule a quiet time. It's the I'm filming hour. Please make no noise during this time. But then I'd have all the tractors and the children on the way. So that's what you want to do. So we're going to cut off the both sides, leave this, chop off the top, wound it, and stick it into some wet soil. Uh, please refer to the video on what kind of soil and what kind of mixture you want when you're creating your propagating um, medium to grow in. Keep it nice and wet. If you can, cover it really nice and moist and try to keep it warm. That's very important. The temperature is going to be very important here. Um, so if you can put a heating pad underneath to uh, keep it moist and keep it warm, it's going to grow a lot faster. So that's option one. All right, we go back to our original. Option two is to do it like this. So now we will cut this one and we cut this one here. All right, and then we cut this one. So in option two, you want to keep the wisteria in going the direction it would typically grow, and where you would get your little new bud is where your new flowers are gonna come out, and the bottom will be where you're gonna get your roots. So again, we wanna wound it, and that's as simple as just scoring or scratching or chopping off the bottom a little bit. So down here, we just gotta give a little wounding. Okay, like that. And then, in it goes. Done. You might find that the edges of your leaves start to wilt. And if that's the case, I suggest cutting your leaf in half, or a little more than half, so that you have way less foliage for the plant to worry about. So essentially something like that. So that's all you're going to have here, is just these two little pieces. Now your roots are going to come out from the bottom and they're going to go really well um, using this method. Uh, because you already have a little bit of photosynthesis coming in where you have your leaves, I think that this is the best option. However, this one also works really well and it's just going to take a little longer because it has to produce um, its first leaf. But in this case, let me take off this little guy at the bottom too. In this case, it's more likely to put its energy into your roots. So I would try both and see how it goes. Now, the third option is completely different. And what you want to do is snip off your leaves. Let's say we'll do about this long. Slip off your little side buds on the bottom because that's going to be in the wet stuff. And then cut off some of the top. Then I'm going to wound this one as well. Give it a nice wounding there, down the side. Now this one, plop, into water. I'm Scarlett, thanks for watching. This was How to Propagate Your Wisteria. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Toodaloo.